Are you wanting to do some car shopping this weekend? If you buy a car, do you have insurance if you can't get a hold of your agent because he's participating in other activities? Before you jump in that sweet new ride, let's make sure you're covered. <laughs> If you already know what vehicle you're purchasing, you can let your agent know ahead of time. That way they can set the effective date for the day that you're going to purchase the car. If you don't have the VIN number, it helps to provide your agent with all the information that you do have, like the vehicle year, make, model, and trim level. Then, once you have the VIN number, they can quickly plug in that last piece of missing information, making for a quicker transaction. However, if your agent is busy doing Saturday yoga, this still isn't going to work. This is when your grace period becomes extremely important. Basically, what this does is provide temporary coverage for a new vehicle that you've purchased until you report it to your insurance company. But don't take this for granted. This could vary from policy to policy, so contact your agent first to be clear. Don't just assume that you're covered. Warning! Your grace period likely only provides the same coverage that you currently have on your policy. So if you have one vehicle right now and it's liability only, your grace period is only going to be liability only for that vehicle you just purchased. So in this example, you won't have comprehensive and collision coverage, often referred to on the streets as full coverage. If you're buying a vehicle, you're likely going to want comprehensive and collision, full coverage. Not to mention, if you have a loan, the lien holder is going to require you to have comprehensive and collision coverage in addition to liability. If you have liability only and you drive that car off the lot and you're in an at-fault accident, you have no coverage to repair your car. This could land you in a very bad financial situation. But wait, there are some exceptions. If you have multiple vehicles on your policy and at least one of them has comprehensive and collision coverage, then you should have that coverage on your newly purchased vehicle subject to your grace period. Okay, so we checked three carriers randomly. We checked Travelers, Safeco, and Progressive Insurance for their grace periods, and all three of them were 30 days. So for 30 days, you have a grace period, but that is only going to mirror the vehicle in which you have the highest coverage. So again, if all of your vehicles are liability only and you need comprehensive and collision coverage for that vehicle you just purchased, you're still not gonna get it, at least not with Progressive. You see, Travelers and Safeco will give you a four day grace period for comp and collision coverage. So in other words, if you don't have a vehicle on your policy right now with comp and collision, and let's say you just have liability only, Safeco and Travelers will give you comp and collision coverage anyway for four days. This is another reason why all policies are not created equal. So how do you choose the right insurance company and policy to make sure you're covered? Just uh, make sure you contact your insurance agent first, okay? You must have a current car insurance policy in place in order for a grace period to apply. So in other words, if you don't have a policy right now, uh, you can't buy one and then backdate coverage. I'm Jason Wamsgans. Like, subscribe, do it now. Bye.